and welcome to my youtube channel <coughs> so today i'm going to be showing you how to make a very simple custom youtube thumbnail if you are really not the type of person that needs to go through the gruesome processes and complicated processes of making a custom youtube thumbnail this video is actually for you because when i actually started youtube I actually started YouTube almost blindly. It's not been even that long as the YouTube. Okay, so one of my problem was thumbnail. I didn't really know how to make a custom thumbnail. Like I was going to Canva, seeing thumbnail, just edit colors and all that, and edit myself into it and all that. And it wasn't really what I wanted. I wanted a custom YouTube thumbnail. Okay, so I was finding it hard to do that. I actually checked some videos, but the processes were long and somehow confusing for me. Okay, so I don't know how it actually came into place and I actually learned to do a very simple YouTube custom um, custom YouTube thumbnail. I actually picked a color for myself and at least I know I've done that for like four five thumbnails. I'll actually show you one up here or two up here. Okay, so I know I've done like that for about four or five of my YouTube videos I've uploaded right now. Okay, so I'm actually going to show you how I did that for myself, like the processes I use. It's not that long. I just use three apps. Okay, I use CapCut. That's the app I use for editing my video. So I use PixArt and then I use Lightroom. Okay, so for CapCut, you can use any other app apart from CapCut. If you don't edit your videos with CapCut, if you edit your videos with InShot, edit your videos with Video Edit VN or all that, or Video Link, whatever you edit your video with. You can use that app in place of CapCut. Then I use Lightroom and PixArt. Okay, so I use Lightroom because just for presets. Because I have a particular preset color that I want. I and I picks out for my custom YouTube thumbnail. So that's why I go to Lightroom. Not really because I, I do any other thing in Lightroom. I just go there and edit the 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 screenshots of my thumbnail in Lightroom with that particular preset color that I want for my 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 YouTube page. I want to that preset color to be the only thing for my custom YouTube thumbnail on my YouTube page. Then I use PixArt to fix it up and all that things. So I'm going to be showing you how I do that with at least I think one video a video that I've already done a thumbnail for and I have posted. I'm just going to use the video to show you how I you do that a custom thumbnail because I don't think I have a new video I haven't created a thumbnail for okay so I hope you stay tuned as I take you through these processes so see ya and at the end of the video I would like you to comment below and tell me if this vlog is useful I'm going to try to edit this vlog right now and upload it today or tomorrow because I actually know how serious it was for me when I was looking for a custom thumbnail for my YouTube page. Okay, so stay tuned and see ya. Bye. So I'm going to show you how I do that. So you're going to see my data is not on. So I normally do that offline without any data. That's for free. So right now I'm going to go to my CapCut app. That's where I edit my videos. Okay, so I go to my CapCut app. And when I get to my CapCut app, I get to new project. So I can look for a video to use i actually want to use an older video okay this i click on this and then i go here i actually like leaving it as in pause like I, I don't want to play the video when i normally take a screenshot you understand so uh, i want to get a clear picture okay so this video right now if i want this clip if i want to use it for a screenshot for a thumbnail sorry i just have to screenshot this so screenshot this so this edict, I have to edict it, I'll cut it to this level. Because this is just what I want to use. So that's it, I've edited this one. So. If I want to use this, I pause. I screenshot this. Okay. I actually like using just four pictures, but you can use more than four anyway. I'm going to show you. Depends on what you want to use exactly. So I want to do this too. Look at the screenshots. This. 
this is not exactly my thumbnail. I'm just doing whatever. I want to get it to me. So I want to get myself like this. I screenshot this and then I eat it. I crop. That's my cropping. Save. Okay, I've gotten four pictures right now, four screenshots right now. Okay, but let me know if I can get something else. Maybe I want to get something else. Okay, so I don't know. I think I've done something like this before. So let's use this color. Okay, this color. Sorry. Let's screenshot this. Uh, crop. So, I'm done with this right now. I've got some five screenshots from this video. Okay, so the next place I go to now, I go to my Lightroom. Lightroom app. Okay, so these are some of the, some thumbnail I've already fixed up. Okay, so I go to my Lightroom app. So, I already have a preset already. I'm not going to start creating a preset in Lightroom. I already have a preset that I used for my thumbnail so I just have to add these pictures to my Lightroom app screenshots so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 okay. so I'm just going to add these pictures to my Lightroom app ok so they have gotten in here then I'm going to go create as in like create a thumbnail with a I'm just going to edit the pictures so I can buy my tongue. Okay, so I go with this. This I have a preset already, so I just use two preset colors for my thumbnail. One is according to you, I have coffee, then I use crunchy. Okay, so I just decide two of my pictures, two of the screenshots for the thumbnail. I edit them using coffee preset, then two I edit them using crunchy preset, and that is it. So let's check if this is going to be coffee or crunchy. I don't really know a particular one. I just look for the ones that fit it exactly. So this coffee, and this crunchy. So maybe I don't know. I think I'm going to be going with coffee for this. So. I'm going to save the device. Okay, I go back. I get this one. Now, preset. So I'm going to be using Crunchy for this. You see Crunchy. Okay, so I save the device. Okay, so I go back. I pick up this one. Presets. I also think I'm going to use Crunchy for this too. I'm going to use Crunchy for this. I don't know. It's going to be crunchy for this too. Okay, so I don't know how it came out. Then I want to use coffee for this too. I'm oh, sorry, press it. So, this coffee, I want to use coffee for this. So, I save the device. Okay, so I go back and then I actually want to try editing this too. So in case this doesn't go through, I can actually use this. So I'm going to be using crunchy preset for this to just like the other pictures of ring lights that I use crunchy for. So in case anyone doesn't pull through, I can actually use this in place of it. That's why I know sometimes I prefer taking about five screenshots and then I can just see 
which one exactly I'm going to be using. Okay, so I don't know the color of this crunchy just actually changed the color. Okay, so I'm done with editing the this right now. So I don't think I'm going to be using this one because it's actually just changed the color of what I want. Okay, so I'm done with this. I'm going to be going directly now to my pix art. So this pix art. I don't actually understand pix art a lot, so I don't actually understand pix art a lot. I'm just just the preliminary. That's why I see this for beginners. If you want to go in depth into editing the thumbnail, I haven't really gone there. Okay, so just just a simple step for you to just have a custom thumbnail if you're just starting your YouTube channel. Okay, so click on this, start editing. So it has a collage that's a grid so i use grid i click on the grid okay so these are some of the presets i've already done so i click on the pictures i normally use four i arrange them line by line so i use one coffee one crunchy one coffee one crunchy then i go down these are patterns for the picture if you want your picture like this you click on this and then you make it into a you follow the other processes i use I don't actually don't like this. I don't use this. Not that I don't like. I don't use this. I normally use the level pattern. That's the one that everything is on the same size and everything and no other design or that. So I normally use this. Then I go to issue and that's 1619. That's the preset, normal preset mode. I think I don't like how this is. I'm going to go back and then rearrange it again. Okay, so let's go back discard this go back go back to grid again so take this take this no no okay take this take this and take this no 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 go back <laughs> okay we take this we take this we take this and then we take this Okay, so if you just click, you're going to get this immediately, but I don't want this. Okay, so discard. If you just click on it, you get the first one. But you can go down and select any pattern you want. So I'm going down to my normal four pattern. Okay, so this one, I think I prefer it like this now. Okay, so this is it. And I go to border. I actually don't like any white line around it. So I clean it till there is no white line. So, but if you want white lines, or border you can do like you can make it this way you can even change the colors of your border and all that and then the colors of the thickness and the colors that you use and all that but i don't really i'm not really in that mood when you go to color i don't like having any border at all so just going to clear the border exactly just going to make it like this okay so i click on this and then you see test that's if you want to write on it okay so that's my next step. Okay, let's write setting up a ring light. Setting up a ring light. Okay, this is it. Then color. I have I also had have a particular color for my thumbnails. So I use this dark yellow and that's just it. That's the color I use for my thumbnails. And after the color, I normally like giving it a lot of strokes so there'll be so a little bit of black highlight to it. I think you can mix it pop. That's me anyway. You can make your choice. Then, yeah, you can change the font. You can use this. You can use this. You can use this font. You can use this. You can use this. You can use whatever font you feel like using. But I actually use just this font mainly. Except I want to write something else under it, then I'm going to use a new font. But mainly I just use this font. Okay, so after this, you go to, I go to bend. Because I actually don't like it being straight like this. So I'm going to bend in it, depending on how I want it. If I want it this way, I want it this way. If I want it up, down. But I actually prefer it down. So... I prefer it like this. I prefer giving it space in between. Okay, so this you can you can make your test capital letter. 
depend on you. I try to do a mistake. I normally make my test capital letters. I try to make my test capital letters. Okay, so this now. I've written this setting up a ring light. So here now, you can add a photo to this place. Okay, so that's why I say let's make it five. So this photo right now, add this one. All those tiny photos normally add up there. Okay, so frame. I go to frame after adding up the photo. Sorry, I go to shapes after adding up the photo. So what shape do I want? Do I want this shape? Circle shape. What shape exactly do I want to use for this frame? Okay, so that's exactly what I need. They're asking me here. You can pick any of these shapes for this picture. So normally I use circle shape, but I don't think a circle shape is going to work for this, except I want to put something like just this. Okay, so something like this. So let's just go with it. So I'm just going to put this. You can make the white bigger, you can see, or you can reduce, so it's not in here, so, let's just see, okay, let's just put it up here, I'm just doing just, it's not like this is how it is, I just, I, don't, I usually don't add this to my pictures, I usually don't add it, I don't know. I just want to show you in case you feel like adding something like this to your picture or maybe a name or somebody's picture or something you can just click this here and just add it up there so they also have call out like this you can add things like this to your thumbnail hello no oh my god i'm sure maybe this that you can add whatever actually don't add that then i think these are stickers so if there's no internet you can't see the stickers and you can see i'm not using internet so if you want stickers you have to click up your internet so and i think my thumbnail is set okay so this is it if you want anything else so i click on this it's safe to gallery but if you are not comfortable that way you can go this way and you can see gallery Save the gallery and you're done exactly there's nothing else remaining for you to do you just go to your youtube post your vlog then add in your thumbnail so i'm done i think i hope you enjoyed this vlog and i hope you comment below and tell me whatever you want me to do next if i'm able to do that and please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like that so click your thumb up Thank you and see you on my next vlog. Bye.